session we'll be seeing how to solve a first order differential equation using simulink so let's consider this first order differential equation with x as dependent variable and t as independent variable and initial value is being given so let's modify that dx by dt as x dash so one thing to note is initial value we know and the final steady state value we can guess by putting that dx by dt as 0 and we can predict what what's the x value it will settle to so let's get started so we'll just open simulink library and then we want to append that equation last equation which is x dash equal to minus 5x plus 2 sin x square plus 2 so to implement we'll assume we know x dash so we'll just take an integrator and we'll assume we have x dash given So we'll just write as x dash. It's just for our conversation. So, and here we have x. As we integrate that differential, we will have x. So let's try to append what x dash. X dash is summation of three things. That is minus five x, two sine square x, and two. So we'll choose a summation block, and then we'll double click it, and then we'll assign the sign. That is minus, plus, and plus. so let's drag it and then we'll adjust each and every parameter so first parameter is 5x and that too it will be going to minus sign so let's have a gain of 5 so we'll choose a gain block and for rotating we'll press control r yes and then we'll connect it and we'll write it that gain as 5 and we'll connect it to x so we'll drag in and then drop that and we'll connect it to minus 5 and then we'll go for the next attribute or the next next part that is 2 so we'll be choosing a constant block and then connecting it to the plus and we'll assign it the value 2 and the last part which is a trickiest part that is 2 sin x square so to append this will require a gain of 2 a trigonometric function sin and then x square which is a mathematical operation again so we'll require three blocks over there so we'll just copy it a gain block you can just right click on the block and then drag it it will directly get copied so its gain should be 2 and let's serve to math operation and will require a trigonometric function 2 and a math function so we'll just go to math function which will provide us x square like whatever value will given it will just square it and we'll rotate it and then we'll go to trigonometric functions there we go so whatever input we give it to that block it will just take that trigonometric functions so let's connect a uh, math function and then we'll connect it so from this block we'll have x square so let's adjust that square function yes that is and then we'll connect it to sin we want sin of that x square so we'll connect it so we have sin x square and let's scale it twice so we'll have a gain of 2 so this is a simple differential equation solver block in simulink and for observing the output we'll have scope we'll use scope block and we'll connect it to x which is our solution so before simulating it we'll first set the scope so we'll just remove that limit we have discussed and then we'll configure the parameters so we'll be choosing first method like we'll be using euler ode1 which we say fixed step method it's one of the simplest way to understand it theoretically also so we'll just choose a step size of let's say 0.001 and we'll reduce the stop time for time being and we'll set it to single tasking and then we'll apply and okay and then we can simulate it but before simulating if anything went goes wrong so we should be on safe side so we'll save this file first as let's say task slash underscore first underscore ode and now we can simulate the solution for this given differential equation 
but we haven't seen him where to put initial value. So initial value will be coming over here in that integrated block, and let's simulate it. We'll adjust the scope first, and then we'll simulate it. There we go. So we have the solution. And again, whatever answer you have, just don't blindly believe it. So we'll first adjust the x scale, that is time axis scale, to let's say 10. And then again simulate it. Yes, it gets adjusted. So let's check whether the solution is satisfying or not. So we'll change the initial value for to let's say 2.5, and again simulating it. So it's starting point we know and the steady state point we can calculate or we can estimate using some method. So let's change that constant value. Like we are modifying the differential equation. So it morphs to the solution. So we can say we have solved the differential equation, which is an ordinary type, like ordinary differential equation. So this is the solution. Like this is the steady state value to that dynamic model, which we are considering right now for first order system.